What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Maps Exposed. This is the series where I go over all of the lines of sight, jump spots, as well as the most common spawn locations on every map in Modern Warfare. Now in the last episode, which is on Hackney Yard, I asked you guys which map you'd like to see next, and by far the most recommended one was Piccadilly. So, let's hop into it. And first up, I wanted to show you guys all the different ways that you can get on top of these middle buses. For those of you guys that didn't know, the easiest way I would say to get up here is through this truck, and then you just have to jump a few times. Sometimes it takes a few jumps. It seems to have no rhyme or reason to it, but in either case, you can get up on this bus from there. Now, why would you want to be on this bus? Well, it would be for more specific situations. Generally, in respawn modes, you wouldn't want to be up here for too long because you'll just get picked off. But in S&D, for instance, maybe the situation calls for just coming up on top of these buses. In either case, it's really nice to know the different ways to get up here. But that was the first way. The second method is from this side over here. If you hop up on top of this, from here, you can jump up on the blue thing, which is pretty nice on its own. But another thing you can do from here is jump across to this bus right here. And once again, you are up on these buses. This just brings us to the last way to get up onto those buses, at least the last way that I've been able to find to get up on there. And this is from this direction here. Now, unfortunately, you can't mantle on top of this railing. You'll just mantle over it automatically. But you can mantle onto this one. And then from here, you just have to, like, walk yourself over. And then from here, you can mantle up on top of the phone booths, jump across to this. You can't quite make the jump to there, but you can make a jump to here. And then from this, you can jump onto the bus. This one, not quite as practical. It's going to take you some time to actually make all of those different jumps. It's much easier to jump from there or from that Jeep right there. Now, a few other jump spots that I have for you, you can get on top of that double decker too. So you just have to mantle up onto here. Then from here, you can get on top of this. Then you can jump across to this one. And then from this one, you can jump onto the bus. Not really all that practical to be up here. Just wanted to point out that you could do that. Also over here, if you guys didn't know already, you can jump up on this small scaffold right here and then here and then get up in this window, which is going to be a really common focal point of today's video. That's the most common spot, but there's another way to do that. All you have to do is hop up on this orange thing here. From here, you can jump directly to the top of the blue stand and then from there, you can jump up towards the window. This is super simple and effective for getting up there. Also, from up on this spot, you do get a great line of sight over towards like that area there, the scaffolding, and you can take people off guard as they come around this corner because they don't normally expect you up here. And you are fairly safe to a good portion of the map. It's just that area there that you have to worry about while being up here. Now, another little jump spot I have for you guys is in the scaffolding area. If you want to get on top of there, it's actually really simple. You just jump to here and then jump up like that. And this way you can approach the situation from up top. And they don't normally expect that because most people think the only way up there is using these stairs. So now let's get more into the lines of sight. And with this series, like I said in the first episode, I am going to be focusing on lines of sight that are designed to counter common camping positions or power positions. I don't want to show you guys camping spots so much. I want to show you how to counter camping spots. And right up there, that is the most common power position on this map. I've got a ton of lines of sight to take those people out and they'll have no idea what hit them. So first up, if you're coming through this arcade, as you come through this doorway, you're going to get picked off by those people. They're going to be pre-aiming this doorway, so it's often a death sentence to run through like that. So the best way to check for those people, if you have a longer range gun, is actually come all the way back to this part of the arcade. Crouch, you're completely hidden. Stand up, and there you go. Great line of sight into that window. This one is super practical as well. You don't have to jump to any kind of a weird, obscure spot. You just come back here and use that as a check spot before moving through this doorway. Also in this area, I did want to point out, this has nothing to do with the window, but people will often sit behind that orange piece of cover there, or they'll just be like leaning around this bus to lock down the arcade. So if you're trying to break out of that spawn, a great way to do it, instead of just challenging them right here, which is exactly where they'll be pre-aiming, come across to where this plant is, jump on the plant, and there you go. Much better cover looking over top of that, and they don't typically expect that. Now, another thing you can do over here to challenge people up in the window, let's just say you've already got yourself in this position, they're shooting at you, you're kind of locked down. All you have to do here is crouch so they can't see you. Keep in mind they can shoot through this though, so just be careful with that. But you can actually peek them through this little crack here. Now, remember, because of broken camera angles, you don't want to be standing right up close here because then your shoulder is going to be sticking out on the side. You want to be fairly far back from this and then peek them like that. And then they won't be able to see your elbow sticking out on the right side. And you can pick them off through here really, really easily. All right, guys, one last thing I wanted to show you over in this area is a little trick that you can use. Let's just say you want to approach the arcade, but you've got people just sitting in there pre-aiming this. And as soon as you come around this corner, they'll light you up. Great way to attack them is to just run outside of the map, hop up like this, and there you go. If they're just pre-aimed over here or like this, they'll have no idea what hit them when you do that. 
This, of course, can also be used if you want to get around to this area right here. You can just come around this way, and then these guys that are camping on this blue bus, they won't expect that, and you can pick them off from here. Now, apparently, there was also a way to get around this bus and come all the way around and then hop up over on this side here, but I haven't been able to do this consistently at all. I've seen people on Reddit do it, but maybe they patched this lately. In either case, let's see what it looks like if you super sprint your way around here with a pistol. There you go. I just made it with like 0.1 seconds. And that's using a pistol. If you're using an SMG or something else that's a little bit slower, you're not going to be able to make that, at least not consistently. So I wanted to show that it is possible, but it's not really practical. Now, another way to get a great line of sight on that window right there is to actually come up to this ambulance right here and just mount yourself up onto it like this. And there you go. Great line of sight on them. You can crouch to take cover from them. You are fairly exposed to this side of the map. So this is more of a quick check spot. If somebody's there, pick them off and then get moving. Also over here, just wanted to point out, if you wanted to, you could jump up onto the orange thing right here and then hop up onto this. This does give you a line of sight up to them there. This isn't quite as good as the last one I showed, though. And you are extremely exposed up there. There's not a whole lot of utility for being up into this particular area. Now, earlier I showed that you can jump up onto this blue thing, so I'm just going to show that again real quick. You jump up like this, and then again, from here, you get an excellent line of sight on them. When you're crouched, they can't see you. Stand up. Great line of sight on those people. That is a much more practical spot as well. And I'm going to be using that one quite a bit to check that window. Another option you have for challenging those people is to come up onto this vehicle right here. And once again, there you go. Clean line of sight on those people. So there are plenty of ways to take those people out of that window. And I suggest you use them because those people can be quite annoying. They can really lock down a good portion of the map. Yet they're pretty easy to kill. I should also point out there's another little line of sight. If you come up on top of these phone booths like I showed you how to do earlier... You get another line of sight into that window, although with this one you can't crouch to take cover from them, so you are fairly exposed to those people. But the added benefit of being up here is you get a line of sight to the hood of that vehicle, which is a common spot for people to just sit and lock stuff down, and they don't normally expect you being up in that area right there, so you can often pick them off pretty easily. Now right in this area as well, just want to point out, you can jump on this little trash can and use this for cover as you shoot towards that area or this area here. Of course, they can just shoot straight through this though, so it's more just concealment rather than cover. Now, aside from that window there, on this side of the map, I would say another little annoying spot to get some campers out of would be this particular wedge right here. You'll often get people that sit up here, they can shoot through this area, they can challenge people on the window over there. And also, if they wanted to, they can jump up on the bus and get other angles, or they might come over to this area here. Now, if they're doing that and you're spawning all the way back on the other side of the map, an easy way to pick them off with a sniper rifle, this is just going to be a free kill for you, is mantle up onto this right here, and there you go. Perfect line of sight to that little V there. They won't see you back here. Such an easy kill for you. Now, another thing to mention is when you're entering this store, you're going to set off these alarms when you come through the doors, which will alert players to your presence as you're coming through. However, there is one door, this one right here, that doesn't have those. So if you're ever trying to be stealthy and sneak up on somebody through here and you have the option, always try to come through this gap rather than any of the other ones. It's the only way in without making noise. Now, on that same note of metal detectors, when you come up to this area, the cork and glass, when you come through this doorway, you'll also set those detectors off. However, you can easily avoid that by simply running through the glass. Now, you will make noise running through that glass the first time, at least, unless you shoot it before you approach. But after that, I would recommend coming through these glass areas rather than the main opening. Now, sometimes on the A domination area here, it can get a little bit annoying when enemies are just camping in the back of their spawn. I know sometimes they're spawn locked back there, but other times they're just camping there and they won't move. What you can do to counter them is to simply come to this area right here and jump up onto this. And there you go. Great line of sight over to that spot right there where they're often just sitting there waiting for you to approach them. And that's just a little alternative for you. Also, if you want to get on the bus by the A domination flag, you can jump onto this car right here. And then from there, just jump up to the bus like that. Now, switching over to search and destroy for the last couple spots here, I just wanted to show some bomb angles as well. So we have the A bomb over here. Pretty common spot that you can use to watch that would be the hood of this vehicle here. But I wanted to point out a little bit better is you could sit right here, especially if you plant the bomb or your teammate plants the bomb on that side and you happen to get into the enemy's spawn here. You can easily watch this side of the bomb and pick anybody off that's trying to defuse it. As for the B-bomb site, I've got another great little bomb angle. This is excellent if you're attacking and your teammate plants the bomb on one particular side of the bomb because you can lay down right here and this gives you an excellent bomb angle right there. So just make sure you plant it right around that area and they can't really defuse it without you easily picking them off. 
But with that, that pretty much covers it for all of the lines of sight and jump spots that I have for you guys on Piccadilly. Now let's move into the most common spawn locations that you'll tend to find in Domination. These will change a little bit depending on the game mode. Also, I'm not going to be getting into spawn logic, just the most common spawn points that you'll see. So just like with Hackney Yard, what I did is I killed myself 100 times, 50 times while holding each one of the home flags. And then I just plotted out the spawn points that I saw, and with Piccadilly, these are the primary spawn points. There were only two primary spawns per side of the map, and I was spawning at these almost every single time I spawned into the game. Then we only had one spawn that I would consider to be a secondary spawn near the sea flag. This is one where I spawned a few times, but it really wasn't enough that I would consider this to be a primary spawn location. And then after that, we've got just a few rare random spawns that you don't see very often, but you may end up seeing them every now and then. And that's it. That's the only spawns I saw out of 100 deaths, which is quite surprising. Normally you see a lot more spawn points than this for a map, but Piccadilly apparently has very few spawn points within Domination that you tend to see. Again, I should remind you guys though that this isn't necessarily a comprehensive list of every potential spawn point on the map. It's just the ones that I saw with 100 deaths. But with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode of Maps Exposed on Piccadilly. Just like with the last episode, I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments section below. First off, what do you guys think about this map, Piccadilly? And second, which map would you like me to cover next for this series? Also, if you guys missed the first episode on Hackney Yard, I will leave a link to the Maps Exposed playlist in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.